up everybody real quick to lot of here and uh today i just have some some stuffs some battles well not even battles these are just some fun things that i had and some weird things that i encountered while i was battling throughout the last few days and i decided that i should share them with the world so yeah if i even narrate these which i am but it's not going to be an actual narration it's it's going to be more like chill laid back type deal so yeah i guess so um this is me using a focus punch, like unprotected focus. This is choice band and focus punch T-Tar. And uh, since he's a feral thorn, I know he's just going to set up racks so I can get off a focus punch and, uh, yeah, destroy his life. So that's cool. I only wanted to hit it once in this match, so after that, I was perfectly fine. So here he makes a double switch out to his mammal swine, which I find extremely retarded, because what if I just wanted to focus punch again? Then what? But, you know, he has his prediction pants on, so he predicts me to switch out to my Lando. And he stays in, and I don't know why he didn't predict me to switch out to my Magma Zone, because why would I keep my Landorus in against a Mammal Swine? So here, I don't know if I'm faster or not, so I decide that I'm going to sub and see. And if I get the sub off, then I'm faster. If I don't, then I'm not, obviously. So um, I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon, take out this Mammal Swine, and... Ow, I forgot I had a Band-Aid, because I got a shot. I was wondering what that was, but uh... Yeah, I killed the memo off. And so here in here, he brings in his friend Ape. I go to Gastrodon, knowing that he can take hits, especially Flare Blitzes. And that does a lot. But this isn't a defensive Gastrodon, so it doesn't matter. Um, this is this is also something I wanted to try out. This is Curse Gastro. So, yeah. So he goes into his Espeon. I know he's going to switch. I get up one free Curse. And uh, I don't want to go for the Earthquake because he has two Levitators. And it's just not worth it at the moment. So he's just going to hit me with the Psychic, and it does 35%. And uh, that, look at that Waterfall. That's Destruction right there, 67%. So um, I'm back to 35, but I'm not going to risk min-max damage. So I'm just going to switch out and go into my Scizor. <sighs> this thing is a threat. This thing is a huge threat. So I take the Psychic like I'm a boss, and like it's my job. And this Scizor, it's, this is a wonderful Scizor set. Look at this. He goes for the Wish. I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. And um, yeah, here... This is why this scissor set is amazing. He's going to go for Protect. Me predicting that. I'm going to Baton Pass. Now, I Baton Pass my plus two out to my Tyranitar. My Choice Bandit Focus Punching Tyranitar. This is about to kill something. I don't even care what it is. I went for the Focus Punch. It, this could have Signal Beam, but I didn't think it would. And, uh, yeah, he gets destroyed by a Focus Punch. Like, destroyed. Like, utterly destroyed. And that's that's two Focus Punches I hit. So here, I don't want to take the uh, anything. Because, yeah, I'm banded into Focus Punch, and he goes for the Focus Blast, and he gets the Defense Drop, but whatever. So here, I'm just going to go for a Mach Punch, because I don't know if I could outspeed, and I d I'm not even sure if he can kill, and I still never know, because I get a critical hit. And, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that crit mattered, but hey, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. So I'm here, I'm kind of in a position to where I'm going to have to sack a lot of things to get up ahead. Well, not ahead, but... I'm going to have to sack some stuff to get into a good position. So I go out to my Scizor, the thing that is unneeded. And I'm just going to um, try to SD, but he hits me with a Draco. And uh, since I'm figuring he has a special attack drop, he can't KO my Landorus with anything. So I'm just going to go for a Psychic, expecting him to want to switch out. But no, he goes for the Psych Up. So this is Flaming Spades, Draco Meteor, Psych Up, shit, psych up set. So here, I, a plan formulates in my head. I'm going to let him hit me with the Draco so his special attack falls. Then I'm going to go out to my Tyranitar because he's not going to psych up my Tyranitar when it can kill it. So I'm expecting him to want to switch out. And so I'm just going to go for the Pursuit. But he shows the Roost. It doesn't really matter because a Pursuit does still a hefty amount of damage. And then with Sandstorm, this guy is kind of low. So he's just going to go for another Draco. I'm going to live that. Take it like a boss I am. And I'm just going to pursue, and now the only thing he has left is his Infernape. And Ape is not, I don't care how strong this Ape is, it's not going to be able to tear through my team. So I'm just going to go out to my Gastrodon just to uh, take the Flare Blitz, but he, instead he goes for close combat. And I thought this could take close combat, but I forgot this isn't defensive. So yeah, that's why I switched into it, because I thought it could take a Flare Blitz or close combat, depending on which one he wanted to go for. And since it's, but it's not defensive, so it can't take it, and he just goes for another close combat. And that still does a lot, but since I'm faster, I'm able to outspeed and go for the Psychic. So, yeah, good thing that wasn't Scarfed. So, um, now here, this is just a uh, part of a random battle that I had. And uh, I got a Masquerade in it, and I was like, hey, this thing has Stun Sword. This thing has Air Slash. 
this is an escadrille. This is scary. You know what we have to do, right? We have to hack this thing. So, um, I'm just gonna, I get the stunts for off, and I'm just gonna try to see if I can pair a flinch with a, uh, with a masquerade. And it turns out, masquerade is very good at pair flinching, because look at this. Look at this. Do you see that? That's five flinches. Follow, that's one flinch, one paralysis, followed by four more flinches, and then a critical hit. So masquerade hacks and stuff. So here I have a, a fun little battle against my boy, Kirk and Polion. And, uh, he's just gonna go for, this was actually kind of serious actually so uh he's just gonna go for the sludge bomb right off the bat i'm gonna hold up my red card get my racks up and i'm gonna take out his camera up with two earthquakes so here i'm just gonna let my cradle die to a sludge bomb so i can get a safe switch out into my aria dose and this aria dose is um special set so it's a sub i set up a sub and um here i didn't know well I wasn't paying attention, so I thought area dose without speed because it's an area dose. It's a bug. Bugs are fast. Flowers don't move at all. So I decided to go for the disable to disable his solar beam. And um, so he's just going to go for the synthesis, which gives me a chance to set up an agility. And um, yeah, so now that I'm at plus two, I don't think he has anything that can take me out. But this thing, Life Orb Sludge Bomb, does damage. So I'm just going to go for one more agility. Now I am faster. Okay, I guess I'm not faster still. Oh my god, area dose. You're so oh, chlorophyll. Duh. So I'm going to set up one more sub, and his able end, so I'm expecting him to want to go for the solar beam, knowing he won't break my sub, but instead he just goes for the sludge bomb again. So I'm just going to baton pass out to my fracture, and um, yeah, I'm going to set up a sub, because this is a sub sword dance. But no, he wants to just keep breaking my subs with freaking sludge bomb. So I'm getting tired of this, I'm just going to outrage, and uh, yeah, stuff stuff is about to die. I'm going to outrage, hit the ala mamola, it doesn't really do much because it's an ala mamola. And I put a person berry thing, a person berry on this thing because I knew stuff would try. I didn't want to lumberry because I wanted to be able to get rid of my confusion. And so, yeah, I'm going to go for the source dance. And um, he goes for the toxic, and so I'm taking toxic damage. And now he goes for a protect, which is, in my in my opinion, that's just a, that's just a, bleh, words that I don't want to say. But uh, yeah, so waterfall plus toxic is going to end up killing me off. So fracture... Did not do a thing. So now I go out to Haunter. Just play it safe. Just go for a Thunderbolt. And uh, he was going to send out his uh, Glaceon. And I'm just going to go for a Sludge Bomb. Get a crit. And on top of that, get the Poison. So after this turn, Haunter being as frail as it is, this is going to be a double down. So this gives me the perfect opportunity to go out into my Area Toast again and start to set up. So he's going to go for a Dragon Dance. I know he's going to go for a Dragon Dance because I know my boy Kirk. So, and I'm going to go for the agility. And since I'm raising my speed, I'm figuring he's just going to keep DDing so that uh, he can stay fast with me. So I'm going to take this chance to go for the sub. Now here I'm hoping that he gets greedy. And he does get greedy, so I go for one more agility. And now if he breaks my sub, I'm fine because I'm at three times speed. I, it, uh, The world is irrelevant. But he gets greedy again and goes out to his... um, uh, He gets greedy again, goes to the dragon dance, and I go out to my Marowak. And I carry outrage on my Marowak. And Thick Club boosted Outrage, I don't care who you are, you're not taking that. Thick Club boosted Outrage, you're just not taking that. So here I have something that annoyed me to oblivion. This was a clip from a battle that I had. And um, so I'm running sub disable Gengar, I sub on a blizzard. And uh, I disable his blizzard right here, I'm going to go for the disable. Come on, speed it up, alright, so good. I go for the disable on his blizzard, so now that gives me a free sub. And he has to switch out because he can't touch me. So I'm just going to go for the sub here. And it brings out his cloister. Which is good because I'm in a good position. So I'm just going to go for the... um. So here I'm just going to go for the focus blast. And I miss. Now only do I miss. He goes for the icicle spear. Three crits in a row. Three crits on an icicle spear. And he was holding a mental herb too. So it's not like he was holding a razor claw. And crits are warranted. But uh, here I have... I don't even know what this is. I'm, I'm going to be surprised with this video as you... So I'm going to go for a superpower and it's carrying black. What is this? I don't know why, to ha why do I have this. I don't know. So uh, he brings in his Jirachi and I switch to my zone as he goes for the um, the um, U-turn. And seeing that I outsped the, the Memoswan early, I'm going to assume I can outspeed this one. And I can't. And then after that, I'm going to assume that it's Bandit, but it's not. So here I'm just going to, just at the beginning, I'm just trying shenanigans. So just trying to see what I can get away with. And it turns out that uh, this guy's too good for me to get away with shenanigans. So I'm just going to go for a swords dance, and yeah, he's going to kill me with the HP fire. So here I'm like, alright, I'm going to go for a focus punch. And this guy carries flash cannon. 
So I flanked. So I'm just gonna let my T Tar die here. And at this point, I was like, all right, you're down three six in nine turns. You gotta you gotta turn around. So here I start playing like myself. I predict his Latia switch in or Latio switch in. I go for the ice punch. And uh, there goes Latio, so that's cool. Then he brings in his Grinchy. I know I can take one Earthquake, and I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. And this man has a Sash on his Mammal Twine, which, um, yeah, I don't know if that's standard or not. So I'm just going to go for a Mock Punch, and I'm going to take out this Mammal Twine. And now he's going to bring in his Jirachi. Um, I know I can take Iron Heads, except if he flinches me. So, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this thing's going to be useful for later because I'm Magnus Zone, so I'm just going to switch out to my Gastro. And uh, this, those Iron Heads aren't doing anything, so I'm going to take this opportunity to set up one Curse, and the Sand is going to break his multi-scale, and if he has lefties, then that's going to reveal that to me. And he goes for an Outrage, and I take that, and that Waterfall does 25%, which is not bad at all. I should find, I should try to get something with Paralysis so I can run a pair of Flimsy Gastro, but anyway, I'm just going to go for an Outrage, and he's going to kill me off. And here I'm just going to go for a Mock Punch, because I need his Outrage to end, so I'm just going to fodder off my Conk Elder. Uh, or my Rapushin. I like the Japanese better, name better. So here he gets confused, and seeing he doesn't have a Lum, I'm like, alright, this is your chance. Now I'm going to go for the Rock Polish, banking on the Confusion, or the Switching Out. He hits himself in Confusion, and, uh, yeah, this is now Rock Polish Lando sweeping things. So, yeah, that time earlier in the battle, I tried to Rock Polish. Didn't work. Now it does, because I'm a beast. If he would have had an Air Balloon, I would have been forced to hit a Focus Blast, and we all know how that goes for me. But um, thanks for watching these battles that have nothing to do with anything. And um, if you enjoyed, leave a like. And remember, you are Rose in the Field of Daisies. Thanks for watching. Deuces.